Meanwhile, US President Joe Biden on Monday welcomed the sale of First Republic Bank to JP Morgan and assured Americans that the banking system in the country is safe and sound. Biden's assurance came hours after the regulators seized the troubled US bank and sold it to JP Morgan Chase. The rescue has likely resolved the largest US bank failure since the 2008 financial crisis and has also raised hopes of an end to the two month banking crisis in the country. Biden said that the action by regulators will ensure that all depositors are protected and that taxpayers are not on the hook. But he also reiterated his call for stronger regulation and supervision of large and regional banks. The deal will see JP Morgan pay $10.6 billion to the U.S. Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. This is being done in order to take control of the bank's assets. The banking giant will also get access to the San Francisco-based bank's coverted and wealthy client base. The U.S. regulators have said that First Republic's 84 branches in eight states will reopen as branches of J.P. Morgan Chase Bank. The regulators also assured that the customers will have full access to all of their deposits as well. Now, global banking has been rocked by the closure of Silicon Valley Bank, Signature Bank and Silvergate Bank in the month of March. The deposit flight from U.S. lenders forced the Fed to step in with emergency measures. While the U.S. administration has hailed the rescue and, uh, measures, some experts warn that J.P. Morgan's takeover of First Republic does not end worries over the U.S. banks in the country.